everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Ballpark Pizza Team in Mission Viejo, California. So we were actually here uh, like, I don't know, seven months ago roughly. And I did this challenge with my friend Derek. So this is a technically a team pizza challenge in which it is a 70 or 60 slice pizza, it weighs about like 11 pounds. You have one hour to complete it. And if you win, you get a hundred bucks cash. Now, when I was there before, the lady actually invited me to come back and try to solo it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna to do today. So we're gonna head on in and see if I can solo this beast in only 60 minutes. Because if not, I'm gonna to have to pay 60 bucks. But if I do win, I get $100 cash. So let's head on in and see what we can do. I'm gonna do the exact things, the same thing I did last time. I did three quarters cheese, one quarter bacon, just because I like bacon. Um, and you have to have the cheese on it, so whatever. But no other uh, toppings are actually necessary besides the cheese. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. So with that, let's head on in and see what we do. It should be good, and uh, let's go eat. All right, so we're gonna start. We'll say at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. It's the Food Challenge King, Joel Hanson, everybody. This one's called Death by Food. It's cool and practice. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're back at Ballpark Pizza Team in Mission V Ale, California. So first I just want to start off and say like I really do love the food here. The staff is, you know, the last time they treated us so well and I really like the pizza. So of course we're back. I'm here trying to solo this team pizza. So there have been a few other people who have sold this team pizza, such as Molly Schuyler, uh, Brandon Garbage Wilson Clark, Magic Mikey, um, and I believe the fastest time that they did it was maybe like, I don't know, 40 minutes, something like there, 40, 45, 50, somewhere. Anyway, so here we are to try to do this pizza. It's absolutely a big one. Um, only topping required is cheese, then if you want to add something else you can. So again, I went with the uh, quarter bacon as I explained. Planning to kind of leave that for the end once I'm kind of sick of the cheese. Uh, but like I said, I do really like this pizza. I'm not a big pizza person, but this is like a soft pizza. The crust is, it's not like, it's definitely not thick. It's not a thin crust, but it's like a, I guess like a thinner normal crust. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm a big fan of it. Their sauce is great. So if you're ever in the area, I would, would recommend stopping by for a pizza. And if you're into it, well, hey, I mean, they have this challenge as well. Again, two of two people, one hour, you can win a hundred bucks. So nothing wrong with that. I definitely went into this pizza, you know, expecting absolute war. Um, I was very focused, I guess you could say, um, very much concentrating on the pizza and all that would be required to complete it because I knew it was not going to be easy. This thing is like a 10, 10 11 pounds, um, you know, all by myself, obviously. So just mentally, I was ready, I guess you could say. I had Mr. Blaine there, of course, uh, not only to help me out a little bit. Um, but, you know, provide some uh, conversation and some moral support, I guess you could say. So, again, huge thanks to Mr. Blaine for that. So, after me and Derek uh, did this challenge together previously, um, which I'll put a link for our other video down uh, below somewhere. Um, so, you can definitely check that out. Uh, the lady actually, like the owner or the manager, whoever she is, she actually said like, Hey, well, you know, if you wanted to solo it sometime, you can. So, again, as per her invite. I decided to come back. The strategy for this pizza and what I knew I had to like get done or what I had to do. Um, so again, I was starting with the cheese, leaving the bacon for last, a little bit of flavor change, and I could always pull from the bacon if I needed to. Even though I had an hour, I had to also get through as much as it, as much of it as I could as quickly as possible. And that's the same that goes for all food challenges. Now, there's a difference between, you know, let's say, you know, in a 10 minute contest, you may use a lot of water, um, but, you know, within moderation, I knew I had to get as much done as I could because eating is not linear. So it's not like you ate five pounds in five minutes, you're not going to be able to eat 10 pounds in 10 minutes. Maybe you'll be able to eat like seven, seven and a half in 10 minutes. So if I, you know, let's say I got to 30 minutes, if I was only half done this pizza, I would bet a lot of money that I wouldn't have been able to finish it. So I needed to probably, you know, finish the first half in, let's say, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or less um, to even have a chance of 
being able to get that second half done in the 30 minutes. Because there comes a certain point where like your time just doubles and triples. Um, it's because you're filling up, your capacity is getting full, your body doesn't want to eat anymore. You'll notice uh, I have to start breathing through my mouth because my stomach's so full that my lungs can't fully expand. Um, so get through my nose just won't cut it. You'll find my nose starts running, my sinuses, and my eyes. Those are all basically signs and symptoms of you filling up because your body starts initiating different defense mechanisms, such as like your sinuses running. Same as if you, um, you know, eat something spicy. Uh, it, your body is kind of like, whoa, like what's going on here? Let's try to alleviate some of this. Um, so there's a lot more strategy, I think, that goes into some of these challenges than people realize. And especially when there's something, you know, this massive, uh, definitely it's not just something you go on and do in your leisure. And if you can do that, then you're definitely a very, 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 very experienced and amazing eater and you should look at doing this pretty seriously. Um, but at that, I think that's pretty much all the information. Um, as I've said, we talked about the strategy, talked about the prizes, talked about the pizza, which again, I very, very much enjoy. So I would say sit back, relax, as you watch me attempt my final challenge in California for this trip. Uh, again, 10, 11 pounds. I knew this was going to be a difficult challenge. And let's just say it might have turned out to be a lot more, uh, let's say, interesting uh, and difficult than I would have thought. So that, enjoy the video. Are you able to grab my camera back? Let's go in front of for a second. Did I hit it? Things get fun. Yes. Well, you're not even a quarter of the way in, and you have about a quarter left. So that part's good. I'll need the time. Though. Yep. Bye. 
about 16 minutes in, quarter left. Twenty seven and a half minutes. Like even for teams, like two people. 
Absolutely exceptional. It's nice and soft. The sauce is great. And for completing it, I got money thrown at me. That's always a nice experience. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Huge thanks to Ballpark Pizza Team. Great staff, great food. Ugh. I gotta take a nap. Till next time, you know what to do. Alright, so we're officially heading north. North? north. We uh, leave San Diego, had a really awesome time down here. Uh, not only were we able to see some really cool things, such as like the potato chip rock, and go out kayaking yesterday. That's something we haven't, haven't talked about. So we had to go kayaking out in the, I want to say it was called, I don't know, La Jolla Bay or something like that, and or in La Jolla at all. And we went to go see the like, caves, it was really, really cool. Um, huge thanks to our lovely friend and longtime subscriber, huge supporter, Alessandra. She is an absolute gem. You'll see her in the comments. Everybody give her an extra special thank you. Huge thanks to our friend Clay as well. Uh, Blaine's longtime friend, a really good companion. So yeah, it, we had a lot of fun. It was super cool. Everything worked out great. The weather was really good. And yeah, no complaints. So San Diego would recommend. Definitely, uh, if you want to kind of see the caves or at least that La Jolla area, you could, like snorkeling and stuff, that was super, super cool. I couldn't get any footage of it because we were out like getting soaked in the middle of the ocean. And this camera is not waterproof and I don't have a GoPro at the moment. It would have been a very good GoPro time. And yeah, then the rock was really cool, the potato chip rock. Everything here looks so tropical-ish. That's a little, little, little more rainy today, so it was, you know, but it worked out really well. And Blaine, what do you say, man? Any any words? I'm excited to go eat some more food. Yeah, well, we ate a lot of food to be honest, but good food. <laughs> uh, Blaine did the uh, Shakespeare's uh, Pub Fish and Chips Challenge yesterday. Smoked it, absolutely crushed it. To which, how'd you think? How'd you like the challenge? Oh, it tasted great. Yeah. Like it was, it was just it was really good. It was quality. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that's one of my. Like down in this area, definitely a challenge I'd recommend. Um, the burger challenge at uh, Balboa's as well was absolutely exceptional. Really enjoyed it. Got some crazy uh, burrito yesterday. That was, <laughs> I'm still feeling that one today, I'll tell you that much. Uh, that was crazy. But yeah, so it was a lot of fun, San Diego. Till next time, San Diego. Appreciate it.